Well, White House staff are worried that Kevin Morris's friendship with Hunter Biden could create more problems for the Democrats. The New York Times is reporting the Hollywood entertainment lawyer, who paid off $2 million worth of tax debt for the president's son, could soon create more bad buzz for Joe Biden as the midterms near closer. It was reported earlier in the week Kevin Morris had paid $2 million in tax debt and was funding Hunter's lavish lifestyle. It was also revealed Mr Morris is set to make a documentary about Hunter's drug fueled life. Kevin Morris is the founder and managing partner of the Yorn Levine Barnes Kritzman Entertainment Law Firm and according to the New York Post, Hunter's friends refer to Morris as his sugar brother. The lawyer will fund the documentary as Hunter faces a federal grand jury probe into his overseas business deals. The New York Times, however, is reporting the White House wants the president's son to stay out of the spotlight and resolve the investigation without going to trial. The Post has even pictured Kevin Morris in the past leaving an exhibit with Hunter and his wife Melissa after some of the president's son's artworks were displayed, some of which Morris reportedly owns. But it seems the Biden administration will struggle to stop Hunter from making headlines as he has continuously remained in them for the last few months. The Washington Post published an article that reported Hunter Biden received millions of dollars from a Chinese energy company despite having no qualifications for the role. Over the course of 14 months from 2017, Chinese company CEFC paid $4.8 million to entities controlled by Hunter Biden and his uncle James. Hunter was on the receiving end of a $1 million legal retainer for the representation of a CEFC official named Patrick Ho. Mr Ho would subsequently go on to be charged by the US government in connection to a scheme to bribe leaders from Chad and Uganda. Evidence has also revealed that Hunter Biden was given a 2.8 carat diamond from a Chinese energy tycoon. US President Joe Biden has denied any knowledge of his son's business deals and has also denied his son made money in China, a claim that documents have disproved. In court filings made in February 2017, Hunter and his estranged wife had outstanding debts, including maxed out credit cards, double mortgages and a significant tax debt. During the divorce hearing, Kathleen Biden said her then-husband spent thousands of dollars to fuel his drug and alcohol addictions. His tax dealings are also the subject of the extensive investigation by the Department of Justice, along with his business dealings in China. He was a board member of the Ukrainian company Burisma Holdings from 2014 to 2019, despite having no experience in the oil and gas industry. Hunter's laptop has also been making headlines after the New York Times a few months ago verified emails found on it. Mere weeks before the 2020 election, the New York Post published an article about a laptop discarded at a computer repair shop in Wilmington, Delaware. On this laptop were emails that seemed to confirm the president's son was the recipient of gifts from foreign interests, including Ukraine and China. The story was a significant development in the lead up to the election, but it was censored by big tech companies. Last month, the whistleblower of the laptop, Jack Maxey, told the Daily Mail he has 450 gigabytes of deleted material he plans to make public. This includes 80,000 images and videos and more than 120,000 archived emails that could be incredibly incriminating for the Biden administration before the midterms.